Hey designers and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about five steps to a happier you. So stick around. wanted to do this video today to help you guys out just a little bit because one thing that I have noticed is no matter where I go, <laughs> people seem unhappier than usual. My goodness, it is like an epidemic. Some type of plague has hit the human population and people are just unhappy happy and I want to help you do something about that today. If you're struggling with finding a little bit of joy and being happy in your life, then these five steps will help you guaranteed. The first step that you can take on your road to happiness is to stop focusing on the negative. Now come on, we all do it. We are all guilty. Sometimes it seems that it is so much easier to pick out the bad things that happen, the negative things, the things that disappoint us, and it's easy to focus on that and talk about that and let our mind rest there. Be it frustration or whatever the deal may be, it is so much easier to allow those things to grab our attention and to hold our focus. So I want to encourage you to change your focus and start pointing out the positive. There is absolutely positive things that happen in your life every day, no matter how bad your situation is. So learn to change your focus and focus on the positive. The next thing you can do kind of goes along with number one. You might have to get rid of a few of those negative people in your life. <laughs> That's right. Some of your friendships might have to change. Some of your circle of acquaintances may have to change. Some of the things you're watching and listening to may have to change. You have got to get rid of all the negative influences. Stop and think about it for a minute. Do you have someone in your life who is chronically negative has something negative to say about every situation, every person, everything. Think about how you feel. After about a minute and a half of being in their presence, you feel drained, tired, down. That's right. It rubs off on you and it wears away at your spirit. So some of your friendships might have to change. Now, obviously you can't just run out and get a divorce if it's your spouse who's the negative one, but you might have to have a little sit down heart to heart and start holding each other accountable. Give people permission to call you out when they hear you being negative and ask them to give you permission to call them out. The more you bring attention to just how negative conversations can turn, the quicker you'll be to remedy that and turn them into positive ones. The third thing you can do on your step to happiness is to stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing your income. Stop comparing your material possessions. Stop comparing your looks, your education, all of it. Just stop it. Be happy with who you are. And if there are areas in your life where you can come up a little higher and do a little better, then by all means pursue that, but maintain a level of joy while you're getting there. The easiest way to get slumped into a negative frame of mind into a down spirit is to compare yourself to someone else because you're focusing on all the great things in their life you wish that you had or wished you possessed or wished you were and you forget about all the positive traits and characteristics you already have. So stop it. Stop looking at other people in their lives. Stop holding them as the line of which you are trying to reach. Instead, reach for the line that is best and optimal for you. It may be something totally totally different than they have and you are going to find you're a lot happier. The fourth thing that you can do on your road to happiness is to stop and evaluate what kind of hobbies, what kind of interests make you happy. What kind of things is it that you can do and fill your time with that actually makes you feel fulfilled and rewarded? Maybe it's helping other people. Maybe it's a certain hobby, a certain crafting idea that you love, that you can pursue and run with. Stop and ask yourself. A lot of times we are afraid to pursue the things that really give us pleasure because we want to set ourselves aside in order for others to have pleasure. And although that is important, we must maintain balance, meaning that we must find the things that also bring us joy. Finding out what that is and then pursuing it is going to give you permission to finally be happy. And the fifth thing that you can do on this road to happiness is learn to love yourself. <laughs> I don't mean be in love with yourself. 
I mean, just love yourself. Accept yourself for who you are and love yourself. You know, everywhere I go, I run into people that seem to struggle with that. People just generally don't like themselves. Some of them hate themselves. I wouldn't even go so far as to say some of them loathe themselves. They find it very difficult to give themselves permission to love who they are. Yeah, I know. There's probably some things about you that can change. There's things about me that can change. But you know what? I have learned to love myself right here in this season of time. I continue to pursue the areas that can change, but I'm going to love myself while I'm on my way. You were created for big things. You were created for purpose, and you are lovable. No matter what's been said to you in the past, no matter what kind of things have been done to you, maybe you feel like you're damaged goods but I'm here to tell you today you are precious and you need to learn to accept and love yourself and I can guarantee you when you finally can do that you're gonna find yourself just a little bit happier I can guarantee you if you will start applying these five things in your life you're gonna be on that road to happiness so much sooner so stop all the negativity get rid of the negative influences around you stop comparing yourselves to other people find some hobbies that make you happy find out what your interests are and learn to love yourself when you can do these five things you're gonna find out that you have a whole lot more joy than you ever thought possible and come on now after all life was meant for you to live fully and for you to enjoy so what are you waiting on I want to thank you so much for watching today remember you were created for purpose to so go and be all you can be I'll see you soon in the next video